right, I think that just about does it. Yeah, clear the infested area is over. My goodness, I had some close calls with some demons there because they were shooting fireballs and I was not ready for it. All right, though, we're here for the main loot. Where's the infested cache, though? I didn't see that anywhere so far. I have to check back upstairs and see if maybe I missed it. Well, I'll snag up what's down here. I've been going through cars. I've been wrenching a bunch of things along the way, so lots of stuff to go through. All right, do you see an infested cache anywhere? Or did I just get uh, skunked on this one? Maybe it blew up from a zombie or a zombie broke it? Or I don't know what happened. Maybe, oh, w when I was shooting here, did I shoot the infested cache? Was it maybe sitting right there and I just like shot it up? We may never know. Kind of a bummer. That's like the one big draw for doing these infested missions. Oh well, I figured we'd hit that up along the way here. Um, last night, I did manage to make my way over to Eve. I spoke with her. She wants me to meet up with Anna now. I also stopped by, it'll be easier to explain if I look at the map here. I came, I went over, I saw Eve, I dropped back around and uh, saw Jen there. Jen is selling a helicopter for like 168,000 dukes. And I looked at my inventory and I'm at currently 63,000. So if we could make a hundred grand in the next day or two, we could buy ourselves a helicopter. And then we just go to the base, build ourselves a helipad and we're pretty much done on transportation from there. I would go so far as to just sell steel, ammo, resources, anything that I can do to get that before her trader inventory restocks, I will do it. But for now, let's head over to Trader Wrecked and turn in this quest. Good morning, my man, Wrecked. Let's see what he's You're offering for a reward here. here. Ammo, leg armor. I think probably we'll, we'll go with the sellable stuff here. Is that is that the play? Or I take the pistol notes and I scrap that into a bundle of skill notes. Probably, well, no, because we're, we're trying to get money right now, right? So anything that I can sell, give me that. And I'll just grab another job. Oh, trade routes. Okay, thank you for that. And another job. We'll do... I like these infested missions, but damn, they are dangerous. Okay, Where is that anyway? The blue trailer trucking shore. What are you looking for? And just say good morning to the scout here and make sure that, uh, yeah, we're all set here. She's offering a couple of things here for crafting skills. Nothing that I want to craft though. All right, I'm feeling really heavy right now. So probably time to go home. And there's that infestation we just grabbed. There's a man eater there. We'll do that on the way home. Dr. Anna is right over here. We'll check in with her when we're ready to do that. And there's another infestation up to the north for Hugh. So we got lots to do here, but for now what I wanna do, I wanna see how much money I can make. I wanna see what's in my inventory boxes that I can sell. I am desperate right now. I'll sell anything. Okay, the man eater is right over here somewhere. There it is. There's a wolf right over there. Take care of that. Hit the quest. What do we got here? Just a regular old man eater? Yeah, you guys got nothing. And, well, I was gonna work on my pistol skill there for a split second until he bled out. What do we got here? Titanium shovel? Man, the loot's getting really good, isn't it? So, what we could do in order to get the helicopter, I have five skill points this morning, and I was just gonna kinda hang on to them until I realized I wanna buy that helicopter. So I think what I wanna do now is uh, find better barter. So we've already taken a few points from, what was it, the survivalist, charismatic nature. So this is giving us a 10% better deal buying, 15% better deal selling, but better barter is much more powerful. We get, uh, with five points here, 25% on buying, 50% on selling. Let's just do it. Five points right there, <laughs> get it over with. And um, yeah, we, we gotta go find some sellables now for sure. All right, so here's a look at the haul for this morning. I did find a super corn seed recipe, so I'll read that, although I don't have any super corn. I did find a fuel saver mod, which is a good one. I purchased the night vision goggles. Uh, after thinking about it for a second, I was like, you know what, let's save ourselves the, is it general schematics or generic schematics? I think, I think I've been seeing general but it's generic so i'll correct myself on that one sorry about that generic schematics so we have that now i tested it out i guess let's roll with it for a day and you let me know what you think of that because it's mostly this is all just for visibility purposes there's no real function to it so uh this is what that's gonna look like during the day very very bright and kind of pink tinted but um, I think in the darker areas, it will look pretty good, like up here. Yeah, looks pretty good. So we can do helmet flashlight or 
the night vision. Let me know. Okay, also did some shopping when I was at the trader and I did get some furniture to help decorate our house here and make it feel more like a home. So we need a place to sleep for sure. Let's put in some bunk beds over here. We could have company too if we wanted to and some storage lockers for personal effects. I'll set up a pool table here, but you don't want to like play pool next to where people are sleeping. So let's put this, uh, we'll center it up on the wall over here maybe somewhere. Except there is no center. Things are off centered. I hate it when that happens. Here, we'll center it up like uh, right. Uh, <laughs> I can't pick it up once I put it down. It's too heavy. So uh, how about right there? Yep, centered under that light there. That looks pretty pretty good. And a flat screen TV for us. We got small, we've got large, wall mounted TV. Three by two, I think. Yeah, we want the biggest one we can get. How about that? And I also picked us up a thick 44 flag. We can slap that on the wall right there. All right, looking better. We'll keep working on that as the days go on. For now though, oh man, I got a ton of organizing to do. And my, my hit points right now, 240. If I take a vitamin, Am I at max wellness or is that going to pump my wellness up? No, I think 240 might be the max. Yep. Yep. Health is 240. Wellness is 240. So we're capped out right now. We need to think about spending a couple of more skill points into health nuts so that we can pump that up a little bit more. Yeah, that's 20 more wellness a pop, which is like 20 more stamina, 20 more HP. Really worth it to do that. So health nut, it is coming up next. All right, I'll catch up with you in a little bit after I pack away all this stuff into the inventories. Okay, looking pretty good here. However, this is not going to net us 100,000 dukes, or probably we don't even need that many now because I've taken all those points into better barters, but um, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna just overkill it. What can I find here that's worth something? A stack of stone is worth 3,500. I could sell all that stone then, no problem. That's gonna net me, wow, like probably like 20 grand. Forged steel sells for almost 10 grand a pop. That that would probably do it for us. I could bring some forged steel. I'll bring like three stacks of it. Actually, yeah, that's actually a good point. I can only sell three stacks at a time to a trader and um, I'd like to just make the trip over to Trader Gen and kind of call it good from there. We also have gold and silver. All right, do we have any money makers over here? We can sell these time charges. I don't plan on using those ever. I like just using the lock picks, that's fine. I mean, we could nickel and dime with the parts here. What about, what about like ammo? What about coil shells? Oh my God, those are selling for a lot. Okay, give me a couple stacks of those and we could sell off the coil magnum rounds, three stacks of those. Could sell off the regular coil 762. Since I'm making the AP, yeah, I don't need this stuff here. Okay, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That's gotta be enough. Just what I have in my inventory right now. Yeah, that's like over a hundred grand on top of the 60 grand I already have, plus the sellables. I think we can do this. All right, I just fueled the bike up. It's gonna be a long trip back to Trader Gen, but it'll be a short flight back. <laughs> I can tell you that much. We made it. We're at Trader Jen's back door. Hello, Jenny. In the wasteland. Nice to see you again. All right, what are we looking at here? MD 500. Oh, severely discounted now. That was like 160 something last night, down to 115. All right, well, let's see how much we can make here. I'm gonna sell the least important things first. All right, I just decided to sell all those coil rounds and look, we're up to 162. I don't even have to sell the stone or the steel. So I'll just hang on to the rest of this anyway. We'll hang on to the gold in case I have a change of heart with the storage broadcasting thing. And there we go, MD500. It is a done deal. Thank, Thank you so, you much, so Jen. much, Jen. I even have some orange dye for it I'm on my shovel right here. So drop that on there. We'll just put the red onto the shovel instead. And wow, <laughs> what an upgrade. Uh, let's go to the helipad and set this thing down. All right, there she is. I do need to, oh, there's a zombie in here. Hi there, what are you doing? 
You stuck over there? I'll need to come over here and grab the motorcycle. And I brought some fuel with me too, so we can make the flight back. Okay, there's my fuel. Take that up. And since Jen was so kind to me, I'll help her out and clear the riffraff out of here for a coil shotgun and some more coil shells. Hey, Jenny, do you want a coil shotgun to go with the coil shells I just sold you? All right, she's all fueled up. The inaugural liftoff. She's looking real nice too, isn't she? Oh, I love it. All right, let's take her for a test ride. There we go, just bringing it down outside here. Let's turn the night vision on and see how this feels for a little bit. All right, we are at a tier three infestation here at the My Spot Parking. We've been here before, but it's become reinfested, so we'll have to clear it out again. Also, good idea to clear out the riffraff outside so you don't have to deal with them. Let's pack up the helicopter and hit this quest. All right, here we go. Tier three infestation, let's hit it. One thing is for sure, we're gonna need to find a stack of murky water or you know, stack of any type of water, really, because uh, with demons abound and us doing all these infestation quests, we're going to be getting set on fire a lot. And I do have a water purifier mod so that we don't get sick when that happens. All right, I think we're just going to run down here, see what we're dealing with, kind of pull them up. There's a demon right there. Let's just knock out your demonic regen there. I think that worked. Good. So far, so good. Yeah, this spear is really, like, defensively, it's really good. It's got the right kind of reach and stun effect where you can just really hold the line. The great thing about seeing all these demons is that they drop demon loot, which is generally a lot better, you know? All right, I don't suspect that was it down here. Anybody else on this side? Yep, they're all white, I just heard. All right, do we have a demon? Nope, just a really big feral white. Wow, that guy's tall. Stands no chance. Whoop. Don't shoot, please. Okay. Oh, there. What am I talking about right there? Got some nanites. I think that was off the, the feral white boy. Okay, not... Ooh, jeez. What do we got? Someone's above me. Okay. I don't particularly want to be downstairs in a basement for too long. Not with the potential for hordes kind of ambushing me. Anything in here? Eh, not really. All right, infestation's not the best place for looting. Hopefully we do get the infested cash off of this one, though. I think I kind of screwed myself the last time. Okay, the <laughs> the night vision, it's kind of touch and go, right? Uh, we got more zombies up there. Hello? Oh, lots of these purple tough boys. Okay, so far so good. Spear's just feeling great. Oh! Got a, uh, another white boy, mutated white. Oh, take that. And there are zombies. Here they are, trying to break in from outside. Dropping loot bags, of course, where I can't reach him. Snake my hand out there and, ooh, wow, Big Mama's packing. We've got one more, there he is. Oh my goodness, the, the lighting, it keeps shifting, see? Yeah, depending on where I'm standing, whether I'm standing like, you know, you know, under an open sky or inside. Here we go. Couple more over here. Take great care of them. Was that a demon? I can't see. There's a lot going on here right now. Nope, just a feral there. The the red tint of the night vision really it, it gives the zombies kind of a red tint, right? So I don't really know. Oh my god. Don't, don't really know what I'm dealing with. This is the perfect place for an infestation, though. Nice, wide, open spaces, plenty of cover. Uh, parkour skills, not quite good enough. Yeah, feeling fine here, but just make sure we're reloaded. And I'll kind of... How does this look? Oh, the flashlight looks pretty good with the night vision. I wish I could have both on at the same time, because that is some premium visibility right there. That is a demon right there. Oh, this gun sucks. Oh, that's another one over there. Oh, boy. They're gonna shoot, they're gonna shoot, they're not gonna shoot. Okay, I think we're good here. Hold them off. Get the guns out. Yep, it's time. Yeah, these are like sub-demons though. Uh, these guys don't have the 
overwhelming demonic regeneration that some of the others have that I've seen. But it's a good, it's kind of, you know, easing us into things here a little bit. Yeah, the, the fire rate on this is terrible. I might look into getting a full auto mod onto it, if that's possible. Okay, we've got indicators that the last zombies are on the rooftop, and it could be quite a fight with the birds here. Okay, that's all the birds down, I think. Almost. Come on. There we go. Good. Reload. And I think that was that was pretty much it. I, I only see a few zombies now. Those are just these weekly rads. All right, we got loot bags. That's a lot of first aid kits. Very cool. Eight first aid kits in that one loot bag. Nice. And oh, these soldiers, man, they, they carry some good loot. All right, where's that infested cache this time? Did that? Oh, there it is. I wonder what the hit points are on it. I kind of want to test it out, but I don't want to lose it at the same time. Here we go. You know what I could do is now I could test it out. Okay, 300 hit points. So I guess it's entirely possible that I did just shoot right through the last one. Oh, well. All right, what do we get here? Titanium sledge, some ammo. Good. Main chest here, not much. And a little bit of odds and ends in the rest of these piles. Nothing really special here. Anything in the minivan? Some duct tape. All right, I think that'll just about do it. Let's uh, head over and see Q and pick up our reward. Do some nighttime flying. I, I gotta really work hard on getting used to these controls. I don't have a helicopter license and I've never flown before, so it's pretty rough. Luckily, he was kind enough to put a helicopter landing pad in here for us. Whoops. Okay. I crashed a little bit. We gotta get some repair kits. Okay, what do we think? This is very dark in here, but I guess this helps a little bit. You All right, what do we get here? Worth a dime anymore. I suppose uh, orange tea because I'm thirsty and blunt weapon notes for the skill notes. And he will give me a tier three job at the, I guess I'll take the fetch and clear at the town square apartments. All right, good enough. Let's see if I can take off without doing any more damage to the helicopter here. Oh no, it's not looking good. Look out, we hit a tree. <laughs> Okay, so we're already at 85% durability on this thing and 68% fuel, although I was only at 70 something after I put like 7,000 fuel in it, so I think it's pretty good on the fuel and I have the fuel saver, it's on the motorcycle right now. I'll switch it over to this and I think tonight and into the morning we should work on getting a helicopter landing pad built up and I think I know just the place to do it. For now though, let's just park it right nice and gently outside. And yeah, I can put a helicopter landing pad on top of the firehouse tower right there and then while I'm at it I can probably replace some of the letters and stuff around here because this ain't a fire department anymore. Ooh, gets very bright when you're inside. <sighs> I don't know about this thing. I'll, 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 I'll give it a fair try, we'll put it that way. How are we looking on the steel here? Exceptionally well. <laughs> Look how fast that rolls in, it's crazy. All right, just give me a few minutes to get organized again. Okay, so we have two skill points as, pr I think I got those when I was doing the sell-off because I remember seeing like big jumps in XP <laughs> every time I sold anything. Um, but as promised, we'll do iron gut level, or two levels into that. Oh no, I picked the wrong one, it's not iron gut. I was looking for a health nut. Oh geez, I got confused. Well, <laughs> no buybacks either. I guess we're gonna be a little bit less hungry from now on. Whoops, okay, well, I, I jumped the gun on that one and I paid for it. Right, so let's uh, let's get the concrete cubes. Let's get, the, we got the titanium auger already. I guess I'm just rolling with that in the inventory with me. And uh, I do need some bandages to have on the inventory, but at this point, let's just, Bring a couple stacks of first aid kits and oh right the the whole murky water thing whoops grab the jars and wait a minute i i can't can i get murky water how does this work here i actually i think i have to like boil some snow into the jars to get a full stack here murky water 125 okay we'll pick that up in eight minutes then and in the meantime, I will roll with the seven or something, I guess, that's right here. All right, what can we do up here? Turn the night vision on, and uh, what I need to probably do is rip this off. Is that really 10,000 hit points for this whole thing? That's gonna take a while. Oh man, what if, can I? I could, you know what? I'm gonna just like collapse this. I think if I rip this line off right here, the whole thing will come crashing down. 
Okay, it's working. Try not to get stabbed by falling metal. It's been a couple of decades since I had my last tetanus shot. All right, we have a bit of a mess to clean up, but once this is done, I think that we'll have a nice clean slate to build the helipad with. And I do think it's probably daylight enough to have the night vision off. We get more of just like a natural look to the light now. Okay, concrete cube shapes and no. <laughs> Let's do this out of regular wood for a minute here and just make sure that I know what I'm doing. Oh, I just heard a screamer somewhere. Where is she? Take her out. I think I got her. All right, so once we get the cubes here, let's uh, let's build like a half block kind of platform here. This will be like the landing area for the helicopter. And what I see a lot in pictures is like this kind of grate or this kind of like meshing. I don't know what function it serves. Maybe, uh, maybe you know, and you can let me know, but uh, a lot of helipads have something like this kind of on the perimeter. All right, I'm out of wood. Is this, are we, are we kind of sold on this? Cause I could just like replace it with the regular stuff. I think I am kind of sold on this. That should be plenty big enough for the MD 500 helicopter. All right, let's solidify it all the way up to concrete. And then of course I would say we, we definitely need a, a railing for safety, you know, in case there's a surprise OSHA inspection here. Wouldn't want to have my holy order license revoked or anything like that. And I left a little spot right here so that I can just put a ladder that goes up there. Do I want the fancy scaffolding ladder? Yeah, I think that's my, that's my favorite ladder. I'll put that in there. And is it going to be the door trim one meters that line up with that? It is. Yeah, I guess I could roll with that. That looks pretty good. Cool. All right. That's a nice helipad. Let's just, well, I'm going to have to do like an H kind of design here as well. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll do the H when we do the big paint job anyway. Okay, what's that look like from uh, this thing? Can we just get rid of this thing? Are we done with this? I think we've we've done the do collector experiment. It was a failure. I think we can also clean up all this stuff up here. Just kind of uh, simplifying everything. And then we can probably take this up here. I think we're done with the the bridge over here. My idea was that if, if Horde Knight ever failed and they broke into the base that I would bring them over to the water tower. But at this rate, they'd bring down the water pet tower in like a minute. So let's probably try not to do that. Okay. Okay. First flight then. And I got to clean up all the iron that's on the ground down there. All right. Let's see if I can do this without causing too much damage to either the base or the helicopter. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think. Simple, simple, low profile, compact, and hopefully functional. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy, easy. It's not, it's not easy doing this. <laughs> I, I think it's just a matter of getting, refamiliarizing re myself with the controls. Wow, we're down to 72%. Okay, so helicopters are super fragile. Got to be really careful with those. And also, I'm just going to put some repair kits inside just in case, because I'm sure I'll crash it someday. Here. 10 repair kits and just stash them inside with 10,000 fuel. Okay, my murky water is done up to a full stack of 125 to help put us out when we catch on fire and also could do in a pinch if we were really thirsty. I think for the most part, I find vending machines or I'm at the trader often enough or I'm home often enough where I can just take up the the good stuff for the good wellness. Not that I can increase my wellness anymore because I'm stupid when it comes to spending skill points. <laughs> All right, I always wait until the last minute to do these things. So let's spend a little bit of time today doing some steel upgrades on the base and doing some repairs and getting things all dressed up so that we're not trying to do that all last minute. And it should give us a sense of how much more iron we're going to need. It's really easy to get the iron these days. So if we need more, we have plenty of time to do it with. All right, I got a handful of shapes on me, so I'm going to just work on some replacements here. I'm also going to just upgrade. If I can see any cobblestone at this point, I'm going to upgrade that to, I don't know, steel, I guess. That way, if the zombies kind of penetrate these towers as much as they did the last time, they'll just have, you know, more hit points to get through to to destroy the blocks. Now, once we get demons blowing up here, I can't say how much damage that's going to do. Probably a lot. I didn't even realize demons could blow up until today. And when I was at Joey's car lot, I think one blew up in my face and that was no fun. All right, I think everything has been replaced. Now it's just about repair and upgrade. And now for the other side here, a little bit more complicated on this side because we have the staircase. So I'm gonna go probably this part of the staircase here, like up to the part where it starts to narrow. I'll do that to stainless steel and uh, 
Yeah, the floor, we really, we don't want craters. So yeah, this all has to be pretty much stainless steel. I'm still sitting on like 6,000, so no shortage yet. All right, I do hear an airdrop coming in. Just wrapping up here, man. This multi-tool makes real short work of this. I'm glad we did the military bunker when we did so that we could get this. I'll do one more pass around this tower here. And so as far as I can tell, the... The repair work is going to be a real pain, but the replacement work to like rebuild these towers after every Fortnite should be a lot better now. It just, the only thing that I'm concerned about a little bit is the, the tunneling, the craters, the, the fact that these explosions can like blast the stone that's under the pad in some places. But there you have it right there. That should do it. Uh, this stuff over here just, it doesn't really take that much damage. This is probably mostly from my rocket launcher rounds over here. So we'll, we'll continue working on things if they get damaged. I'd like to go now to the top and see what we can do for steel up there. Yeah, all of this stuff here just incrementally damaged. There's so much redundancy. I'm not worried about uh, losing any of this and, and just messing up the pathing too much. We should go steal on these though. You never know. Demo could go off over here from some errant, you know, cop spit or some errant grenade blast or any number of things. So we don't want to lose these. And then with the, I have 382 steel left. I think I'll call it there. And the next project that we do for construction, once we make some more steel, will be to just come up here and do this kind of stuff. Repair the fighting positions, get these blocks all upgraded. Uh, there's going to be basically a belt on the bottom and at the fighting area here, about four blocks tall, kind of like what you see there, where it's just going to be titanium in the long run. It's like that block right there, this block right here, that doesn't need to be steel. That can just remain as concrete until the end of time, pretty much. Same thing for like these long stretches of the tower. Uh, I might go down a little bit just because uh, of zombies kind of falling off and blowing up on their way down. But for the most part, uh, these, these, you know, these cladding blocks on the side, this can all just be concrete. No problem. All right. Well, how's the garden looking over here? It's looking like it's ready for a harvest. I do need to grab up. Wait, what's the attack speed on this? Could this be my new harvesting tool? I think this is the new harvesting tool. It's it's about as fast as Jason's machete was, and it's way faster than my hands are. Although, you know what? I'm not really liking it, because it doesn't have the swing arc like Jason's machete. Oh, I'm going to go get Jason's machete. This thing just broke anyway. Looks like try as I might, I just cannot escape Jason's machete. Yeah, the swing arc on this so much better. Makes it easier to hit the plant. Pretty soon here, we'll be going into the farmer class, and that should eventually maybe give... I think it's the master farmer gives us access to the iron hoe, which will give us... It like triples the harvest if you harvest with the hoe. The scrap iron hoe, which I have, does not give you any benefit though, so that's why I just use the knife. All right, there we go. Good to go. And I'll grab up these couple of apples here. And I did check and see the shortfall right now for making more ink is, um, what was it? It was like carrots, I think. All right, so stash all the veggies in here and I'll see what I can do in just a second in terms of ink crafting. And then we'll probably have to go iron mining. <laughs> Our old pastime activity. Well, there's a few thousand there or almost a thousand. Yeah, we, I mean, we could have a horde night right now and I think we'd do just fine. But I just want to get everything upgraded before we do the big paint job next week. Okay, so typically what we do here for ink crafting is I grab up some honey and everything else is pretty much in here for ingredients. So just yank it all up and hit up the chem station. Yep, I've got a few different ingredients that are open to me. So this one uses coffee beans. We'll get two for that one. This one uses carrots. I'll get one on that. And this one uses tomatoes and goldenrod. So one on that, that's four ink, which should unlock us the farmer and what was it, the hunter class. And before I stash everything back away there, do a little bit of cooking if I can. Yeah, gotta love that vegetable stew there. Give me all that. Yeah, and if I go into the farmer class, that might give us, over time, it, you know, spend some skill points and stuff. I think that'll unlock some of the really good stuff for us, like shepherd's pie. Look, we can even craft that pumpkin pie. Nice. Yep, hobo stew, meat stew. We'll be able to craft all kinds of good stuff. Okay, we've got the laser multi-tool problem now. It's broken, so I believe if I repair it with a... Rep Wait, could I even repair it with a repair kit? It, no, it uses laser cells or energy cells to do that. I don't know if I got any of those out of the, the bunker there. I did get some energy cells right there. 
Okay, how, how many energy cells? One. I'm just curious if I can use energy cells to upgrade my, or to repair my level 57 instead of combining them, or if it's gonna lose quality. Because if it's relying on tool crafting, it should, wait, tools below quality 31 will no longer degrade. Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of boned. I, I need to do the combination thing so that I don't lose quality levels. Okay, I'm glad I looked into that though. Just take off the structural brace on there. That probably came in handy a lot in just extending the life of it, but there we go. Yep, get that repaired up. Use these old multi-tools. Try to get this to full strength. And that's it right there. I'm sure eventually if I if I don't continue finding them, that's kind of like exclusive to the bunker places. So I don't expect to see one of those again for a long time. So the next time around, it'll have to be the energy cells to repair that. And my goodness, this ammo box is getting really, really full. Let's, um, isn't, wait, isn't there a coil shotgun turret? Coil shotgun turret, which is unlocked by electric powered traps. Disables demonic regen, but not empowered demonic regen. Oh my God, there's a distinction between that now? Cause I was thinking we should unpack all of this ammo, but now if there's a potential that we, sh we could have like one of every type of caliber for turret, we should save the ammunition so that I can, you know, stack it up and we'll have like, just like a, <laughs> Like, like a, we'll have like a battleship broadside row here on the rooftop to cover against the succubi and the birds. Oh, I just ate up a bunch of food because I was hungry, but then I remembered I do have two skill points. By the way, I took the night vision off and put the helmet flashlight back on. It was, I know I said I would give it a fair try and I did and I, it drove me nuts. So <laughs> I can't do it, uh, but I wanted, yes, we're going into not iron gut into health nut. Two points there, that increases my maximum wellness by an additional 40. So we have some catching up to do here now. Start off with some vitamins and we'll take it from there. All right, since we're a mechanic now, we should look into getting this mechanic station here. Steel, wood, that was what was holding me back. I was gonna do that the last time, but I had like 48 instead of 50 wood. So should be good on that now. Do, can I just like make that in the inventory or? Oh, I guess so, sure. Had this old treasure map I can read. Taylor's treasure, not too far away, just kind of up there by Trader Hugh. And there's an airdrop up there. So mark that before I lose it. It's like my ink is done. Turn off the chem station and we should get rolling on some more of those books. Do I have the schematics? Well, we could do one. And of the two, in fact, I might not even do the hunter class because I don't, think that there's anything in there that I like. I've looked at it before. So I'll definitely do the farmer though. I was thinking about trying to put up a dart board in here somewhere. Oh, that looks like a good spot to play darts. Like whoop. Yeah, just don't fall off the back. Maybe that's not a good place to play darts. How about uh, over here? All right, how about we just do a board like that? We'll give it a nice base coat of black and then we'll drop in a practice target right there. Just paint that and Looking fine, I like that. Just watch out for the lamp there. Okay, yeah, let me know what else we should put in here for entertainment and for coziness and I'll see it done. Taking requests. <laughs> All right, here's my class paper. Should be able to just quickly craft that into a farmer quest thing and read that. And here we go, we got some, we got some starter quests to knock out. What's first here? Gather up goldenrod and yucca stuff. That actually reminds me, my yucca stuff is misplaced right now. Where is it? Here it is, yucca fruit. Goldenrod flower, and it looks like I need two goldenrod seeds and two yucca seeds. And done. That gave me a whole bunch of cowboy clothing. Okay, now it wants me to get wood, flesh, nitrate powder, and clay soil. Wood, nitrate powder, soil, rotting flesh, done. Next up we've got farm plot block. Goldenrod seed and yucca seeds. Got four farm plot blocks right there. And I'll just run out into the garden and place these down. Done. What's next? Chrysanthemum, apple, chrysanthemum seed, apple seed, animal feed. Apple, chrysanthemum, two apple seeds, four animal feed. And I'm gonna need to go pick some chrysanthemum flowers. Found some. Just need two chrysanthemum seeds and we're done. Now it wants animal snare, chicken coop, animal snare, chicken coop. Okay, gather and place those items. Okay, craft up the animal snare and the chicken coop. And I might just find a place on the rooftop. Should have probably put those on the rooftop to begin with, but I, I had this idea to make this nice, beautiful homestead and, and then I didn't. <laughs> All right, let's do chicken coop here then. So now it's up here at least. We'll just, we'll get the beehive up here eventually. And whoa, it's a live trap. 
Well, that <laughs> doesn't make any sense to have it up here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Set it down right there. And I, I, isn't it how it works that you just, you click on this or, you, oh, here, oh, geez. What is this? Bait? There's some mods that you put in there? I don't even know what those are. Wow. Okay, let's well, scratch the animal. Well, we could put the animal feed in here and that'll produce us a couple of eggs, I think. Let's check on the farmer class reward bundle. Kind of just a bunch of junk, really. All right, well, I gotta clean up the inventory now. All right, where can we put this mechanics workstation where it's um, kind of out of the way, but also accessible? I could put it, oh, it, it's gonna look bad there, isn't it? What if I, I could put it right in the corner there and then I could move the ladder over and put the ladder here. Is there anything obstructing that down here? No, in fact, I think that would look quite good there. Titanium auger, go! All right, that works just fine. Here we go. Drop this in, in that configuration there, and that will unlock the ability to make some new vehicles. The charger. All, wow, wow. All kinds of things. Okay, we can make the vehicles, but it's, it's a matter of can we make the, the chassis and the body and stuff, like... We can't do the box truck and stuff. Some of this stuff is locked behind the master mechanic. <laughs> gyrocopter. Who needs the gyrocopter now? The only thing I would want out of the master mechanic class is the marauder or the buggy. One or the other. Yeah, the buggy. Man, that thing is badass. I would love to have that. We'll see how far we get and how desperate we are for better transportation. All right, I just made myself up a nice iron hatch to put on there instead. Just tick nightfall too. Okay, the base is looking as good as it's ever looked. Better than it's ever looked, really. Should I put the bedroll somewhere over here? Yeah, I get the sense that we do need sort of like a dedicated sleeping thing over here. So we'll get the plate brackets and we'll set myself up a little bit of a bunk bed. Okay, there we go. That'll do. Maybe I'll get myself a nightstand or... Isn't there a bed that I can craft? I saw that at some point. King-sized bed. Requires 40 cotton. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. All right, I think everything is pretty much reset to my liking. The whole inventory thing is squared away where we got the loadout set up and uh, we have the whole night ahead of us. There's two options though. One, we can d go do like a treasure map, airdrop. We could do the tier three fetch and clear over there. We could do a tier three infestation down here or we could do mining. I, I like to do some mining. I haven't done that for a couple days now. Let's grab up some gasoline and uh, we got the titanium auger here. <laughs> it's probably a really bad idea, but let's do it. For this project, we'll just need the motorcycle. Oh, that reminds me. We're gonna have to get the vehicle mods because I would like to get some off-road headlights and the uh, the one that makes you go fast, the supercharger. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, a little bit later on tonight. For now, shine the light over here so we can see what's going on. I should really get some lanterns or something over here, shouldn't I? Because this is going to be the primary mine, it appears. Also, wouldn't be a bad idea to get some cobblestone or or even just upgrade this to concrete. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh boy, got lots of company here somewhere. Got like wandering horde people here. Lots of footsteps. Not enough to be a wandering horde though, I don't think. Yeah, just a bunch of regulars here. Got more though. Maybe it was a wandering horde. A lot of people here. Oh, that was a laser multi-tool sitting in that loot bag there. What a surprise that was. Okay, so I guess we are gonna be able to pull those out of loot and continue upgrading and repairing the one we have without losing quality. Good to know. Okay, we return to the mining site. This time though, I brought with me, well, I'm crafting some survivalist torches, which I don't, I don't, here they are. I don't know if they um, generate heat. It doesn't really give me any indication in the description, although I, I thought I remember learning that at some point. I also brought some upgrade materials, but I need a little bit of wood to get started with for repairs. That should do it. All right, so let's get these all upgraded to concrete. Okay, that's good on that. And I also made up some spikes and we'll just lay a, a rung of spikes around here so that if any zombie walks up, they have a chance of dying before they could get off a scream. All right, wasn't able to quite get two rows, but maybe next time. And with my parkour skills, I can get in and out pretty much no problem. All right, I think we're as safe as we're going to be. Let's get some light set up here. We'll get one light like outside here and then a couple of lights kind of along the way to, to light the path. Just right off of the support column is fine. All right, we're ready to do some mining now. All right, going good so far. I can hear the screamers walking into spikes. 
Oh, we do have screaming though. All right, let's get up here and see what we're dealing with. Zombie bears, lovely. Holy crap, okay, get away from the spikes, please. I just laid them in there. Couple of purple zombies, is that a, who is that? Oh, that's just a purple zombie. I thought that was a red zombie for a second. Got me a little bit paranoid. Whoa, they're coming out of nowhere. Head on a swivel here. Okay, oh crap. Oh, I'm getting hurt pretty bad here. I don't see any extra screamers, so that's a plus, but you know, 20 zombies is enough. They're still running in too. Legendary biker over there. Okay, so, so the spikes, I don't know. Questionable whether that worked or not. I think it just pissed off the screamer enough so that she screamed. Two treasure maps in that one right there. And we're good. I, I will not be deterred. We, we've got to get the iron and this is the fastest way to do it. Back to the mine. Yeah, I can hear screamers up there again. I'm just going to ignore them. If they scream, I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? We're going to run up there and jump out again and have a big fight. If they get down here, that would be a problem though. But I think it would take a while for the screamer to carve all the way through that concrete that we built. Aside from that, I'm almost up to 100,000 iron, which is really my goal, I guess. Okay, that's 136,000. All right, we're gonna have a huge fight on our hands here. There's multiple screamers topside, and it appears as though there might be other zombies up there as well. Let's go. Go, 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 topside. Try not to get stuck in here. Up onto the top and open fire. Definitely screaming going on here and radiated screamers. All right, the, the name of the game here is fire and maneuver and target screamers if you see them. I am radiated, lovely. Try to kite them into what spikes are left over here. Getting the explosives out, things are getting really dicey right now. Ah, more screamers are screaming. It might be time for a tactical retreat. Where is my bike? It did just crack morning. That makes no difference at all though for these guys. None whatsoever. Whoa, look out. Bones shall be broken. Shields shall be splintered. Hold the line. Oh crap, they're behind me. Oh boy, Night Stalkers as well. It is time to leave. That's enough of this place. All right, it's okay. I can I can pretty much sprint unrestricted with my stamina capacity right now. Okay, we got multiple bears here. There's my bike. Onto the bike and we're leaving. Yeah, that got out of hand real fast. Assholes, get out of here. Whoop, <laughs> that was a mistake. He's, his bones are stuck in the freaking axles, crap. All right, we're gonna make the circuit again. I think a bear is chasing me. I might just run back to the house. Ah, ow, go, 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 go. I don't think the bear can squeeze through there. Oh, geez, are we safe? Get out of here, man. There we go. Takes care of that problem. Is this all we had? Is this the only person who followed me? Nope, got one more here. Rad soldier. And done. Well, I guess the motorcycle is just gonna live over there for a little while. No big deal. All right, let's get cleaned up and get some rest. I'm gonna get the forges rolling and we'll come up with a plan for tomorrow. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.